if Putin thought Trump was really that supportive of him, why didn't he invade when Trump was in office? It's at least worth asking that question if you're not locked into one intransigent thought. But either way, man, there is no denying that Saudi Arabia isn't playing ball with Joe Biden. And you know what? You can say what you want, but this would have never happened to Donald Trump. Biden actually wishes that he could hire Trump to step in as President Wildcard. Yeah, you, you heard that correctly there. The late night comedians Bill Maher, Trevor Noah coming to the defense of former President Trump, saying the chaos worldwide and the disrespect they've seen wouldn't happen under President Trump's watch. Yeah, that was the first part of the statement. Then Bill Maher went on to slam both political parties, saying, don't make World War III about them. Of course, a very intense time. Joining us now to discuss is a Republican strategist, Siri Cybulski. Also with us, Newsmax contributor Tom Borelli, alongside Republican strategist Amy Tarkanian. Great to see our panelists here uh, in the morning programming. Amy, did those late night remarks surprise you? Well, you know, it's not so funny anymore to take shots at Republicans, is it? And the evidence is now overwhelming. So they have to get on the realistic bandwagon. And I think that it's refreshing to actually hear some honesty coming from these so-called comedians. And I think that we do have President Mush for brains. And we are hearing that calls are being ignored by several world leaders, not just Saudi Arabia. And I think that is extremely concerning uh, for America. And I think truly that the president, actually 45, yes, he was unpredictable, but that is what made us stronger. The fact that we have President Biden saying either we're going to go in militarily or we're not going to go in militarily. Who gives up their strategy to the world? It's ludicrous. And President Trump would have never done that. He always would keep you on your toes. Tom Borelli, your thoughts on this and hearing you know, folks like Trevor Noah, Bill Maher, maybe you've heard this as of recent, but Trevor Noah kind of stood out with his comments. Oh, ab absolutely, Sean. I, I think this is quite surprising, and I think it's a really good sign. First of all, it's great that these gentlemen can actually see reality. Yes, the sky is actually blue, and President Biden is actually a disaster. There's proof all over. And I think what's important here is the change. Remember, these individuals are harsh, brutal against former President Trump. Now they recognize that the man was a leader. And going forward, this is really important because these individuals can influence uh, the Democrat voters, something that Republican uh, can't do or conservative media can't do. So the bottom line is, I think this is a tipping point, a sea change that actually the left is turning against Biden. Mm. Well, gas prices don't discriminate against political parties. So people might take note when you fill up your tank. Uh, just wanting to find an answer for that. Former President Trump over the weekend at his rally did slam President Biden's presidency. Let's listen together. You could take the five worst presidents in American history and put them together and they would not have done the damage Joe Biden has done in just 13 months. The fake news said my personality would get us into a war. I'm telling you, that guy's going to get us into a war. But actually, my personality is what kept us out of war. <laughs> Sarah, your thoughts on 45's remarks? His read on things? Well, I think that last part is really accurate. People always, you know, castize the president for being a warmonger, for being an apologist. And yet he's the only president in our lifetime that didn't get the United States into war. And so that is something to really consider. Biden, for whatever he's saying right now, is in a war with Russia. He made a complete debacle in Afghanistan. And there's not a single person, Democrat or Republican, then that can actually count one thing that Biden has done right. And again, I say this over and over. I think it's really sad. No one wants the president of the United States to fail. No one wants the situation that we see in front of our eyes. And unless the Biden administration can correct themselves, we have 25, actually 35 more months of this. I just want to play this really quickly, if I can, here. Uh, New York Times correspondent talked about this uh, on, on Meet the Press over the weekend, saying, though, that we would be in a worse spot with our NATO allies, considering Trump. Here's that. 
where we would be right now if Donald Trump was still president and Vladimir Putin had invaded uh, Ukraine. First of all, uh, Trump would already have pulled us out of NATO because mm -hmm. that's what he wanted to do. NATO at this point would have been completely divided. You would see disunity. You would see other NATO countries peeling off. What are we going to do? The alliance would be broken. I've got 30 seconds. Amy Tarkanian, close us out with that. Yeah, she's delusional. In fact, he just wanted the other countries to pull pull their own weight. And so I think that it's now being shown how important it is to contribute as much as you can and as much as possible so that way NATO can be stronger if we were to stay in it all together. All right. Sirius Cybulski, Tom Borelli, Amy Turkanian joining us live. Uh, thank you so much. Always good to see you here on this Monday. We do appreciate that.